Hi, my name is Maya. I'm a senior at Duchenne. And this poem is called 614, 16, 17. When I was six years old, I asked my mother if there had ever been a girl president. We were studying the presidency in first grade, and my teacher told me that presidents made themselves. I looked up at the wall of laminated faces, self-made gods, saw a gauntlet of men who looked like my father, and started wondering why none of them looked like my mother. If nothing else, she was the portrait of power, tall enough to be my stars, eyes like candle wax hands, that etched like quills over my quilt when she tucked me in at night. So I asked her if there had ever been a girl president. And she looked at me, smiled, took my face in her hands, and told me, don't worry, sweetie, it will happen sooner than you think. When I was 14 years old, a waiter told me I should be a stripper, slung his hands across my back like I was his bedsheet, and he was smoothing out the creases. I spread a napkin over my thighs, a shield over my thoughts, starting like frightened sparrows. I still had braces. I was 14. I told him I was a freshman. I knew it didn't matter. When I looked into his eyes, I saw my naked body behind them. When I was 16 years old, I sprawled across my parents' couch. Portrait of confidence colored in the red, white, and blue color scheme of CNN's The Road to 270. I was so sure that would be the day we ended the laminated iconography of presidential portraits confined to white shirts and black blazers. Maybe today we would start seeing pantsuits. And I watched, and I watched, and I watched, and I watched as my certainty was silted by what I saw. I saw red rising like a tide of blood. How had we let this happen? Yeah, she wasn't great. But in that moment, all I could do was remember five words, ricocheting in my brain like a bullet, every syllable serrated, grab him by them. And with those five words, I relive every moment a man has thought he is somehow entitled to a part of my existence. The guy who cat called me in front of my grandmother. The car full of boys who drove directly next to me for three miles, sticking their heads out of their windows and their tongues out of their mouths. The kid I agreed to marry in kindergarten, who still tells people he owns me the waiter, who told me I should be a stripper. And as an addition to my poem, the guy who honked his horn at me and gestured that he wanted to fondle me on my way here tonight. I owe them nothing. I sat with an army of girls across a broken country, what seems like a million years ago, who thought November 8th, 2016 would be the day we started seeing presidents who look like our mothers. Instead, we got a man who thinks he has the ability to bind women's bodies with his star power, pull our skin like it is his sky. I owe him nothing. I am 17 years old a year too young to vote with the bitter knowledge that my mother lied to me when I was six years old. She told me I would see a girl president sooner than I thought. Well, I thought 2016, and I was wrong. But 17, 18, 19, 20, I have far too many years ahead of me to let my liberty be defined by 16.